Hello guys, my name is Milad and welcome to Desire School channel. Today I want to show you how to create this beautiful interior render in Lumion. My focus in this video is lighting effects in Lumion, so stay with me. Ok, for the first step import the 3D model in Lumion. After importing model, I am going to apply the materials to all the surfaces in the model and add some objects to the scene. I will cut the process of applying materials right now to save time, but if you love to know more about this process, Check the links in description to learn more about Lumion materials. Let's find some good camera views for this scene. But before starting Lumion effects, please hit the subscribe button and like this video. This is a big support for our channel. Thank you so much. Now it's time to use Lumion effects. To see the lights and shadows in better form, I will apply the stereo foam effect into the scene. Now everything is white. As you can see, lights and shadows are more visible. Reduce diffusion to the zero. Let's take a test render. Now add shadow effect in the scene. Make sure to turn on the soft shadow and fine detail options. A little bit decrease the brightness to make shadows darker and make more contrast in the scene. Here I think the omni shadow is too much. 20% reduce its amount. The omni shadow creates shadows in the corners of the model and help to define the edge and details of the model much better. But when its amount is high, it causes our render look unrealistic. Now it's time to apply the real sky effect. Choose one of the skies you preferred for this project. Here I love to bring the sun into the room. Rotate the sun with heading option to find the right direction for the sky and sun. Let's take another test render. Now we see much light in the room. I think the real sky needs some change. I want to change the direction of sun and increase the brightness and reduce the overall brightness right now. Let's take another test render. The next effect is a skylight. A skylight effect is gonna create a natural ambient light from the sky and make a smooth shadows in the scene. And for increasing the quality of this effect, turn on a skylight in planar reflection and a skylight in projected reflection. By increasing the brightness amount, all of the scene become brighter, but as a result, the shadows start fading. So you should find a suitable amount for this option by taking test renders. And saturation options brings a sky color into the scene. Here after I added this effect, some blue lights appear in my render. The next effect I want to apply here is hyperlight. Let's know more about hyperlight effect. This effect improves the lighting of the scene by reflecting general light from the surfaces in the scene. Surfaces that are close together reflect some light to each other. This effect makes shadows smoother and makes them look more realistic and detailed. Large surfaces, like walls, reflect light 
in all of the room. But consider that a very high amount of this effect cause that shadows become too much bright and smooth. After hyperlight, add global illumination effect in a scene. A little bit increase sun amount. This effect causes that areas that are far from sun become more bright. To make this effect more realistic, increase fall of distance amount. So areas that are close to the sun become a little brighter. In this scene, I prefer to set 31 for it. Okay, for now I want to modify shadow effect, skylight and color correction once again. Let's check the result. Now I want to see materials in my render. To do this, disable a seriform effect and take a test render. Not bad, I said we should work on this. Add a reflection effect to the scene. Turn on speed ray and select the planar reflection faces. Here I choose glass, mirror and floor. Let's take a test render. Very well, I see a big improve in reflection. Now I want to add other effects. Use two point perspective in scene to manage the perspective of the scene. Add depth of field. This effect change focus of the camera. You can show the depth of image very well by this effect, but I used it in a very low amount in this project. Let's take another test render. Well, now I'm going to modify some of the materials again and make them look better. And as I said, I arrange the size of textures and change a little bit reflectivity or relief of materials. Another thing I want to do is adding reflection control object into the scene. This object makes reflections more accurate, but you have to place it in a right place. Because reflections calculate according to the location of this object. Another effect I want to add here is sharpen effect. This effect helps to make the details more visible. But use this effect in a very low amount. Too much amount of this effect make our renders look unreal. Very well, for the final touch I'm going to work on another scene. Paste the effects of previous frame to this scene. Now I'm going to add a vignette effect for this scene. It helps to focus on the center of image. In the next, add analog color lab to set a nice color tone for your render. You can choose between the style of this effect. With amount slider you can control fading amount for this effect. Now let's take a final render and check the result. I'm very happy about the result because the lights and shadows are very realistic in the scene. Yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, please leave me a comment.